kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. The cooking show. One morning, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were working up an appetite with one of Mommy's workout shows. It's breakfast time, little ones. Porridge again. We eat this for breakfast every day. Soon this stuff is going to start coming out of my ears. Porridge is good for you, my darlings. Now you eat that up while I run to this door to see if I can find you some kind of yummy treat. Um. Hmm? Oh. Hey there, would you like to eat tasty stuff all the time? Yummy meals that make your family feel sublime? Then you need to start watching my kitty cooking show. Whoa! Guys, we have got to do a cooking show of our very own. Yeah, we could cook the most delicious breakfast in history. And give it to Mommy and Daddy. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats took all their favorite foods out of the fridge. What should we cook for breakfast? Let's make some little pie things. Uh, with jelly. But to make pies, you have to make dough and roll it and stuff. And we have no idea oh, how to do it. Well, in that case, we should make some sausage pudding. But we are too young to use the oven and we don't know how. Oh. Porridge is actually starting to look pretty good. If we can't cook, then maybe we shouldn't do a cooking show. I mean, I'm just saying. I have a really good idea. We should make a salad. All you have to do to make a salad is put stuff together in a bowl, right? <laughs> Ooh. So the kitty cats made a salad out of cheese, fish, cream, jam, and fruit. Oh, what are my little ones doing? Mommy, we're putting on our own cooking show. We made the most delicious salad in the history of forever and ever. You are just in time for the part where everybody tastes it. Interesting. Worrying, but interesting. Daddy woke up just in time. Hey, good morning, family. Ooh, what's for breakfast? <laughs> A special cooking show from our kittens. Welcome, wonderful viewers. <laughs> Enjoy our salad a la kitty cat. Um. 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 Mm. Well, well, pretty good for a first try, I guess. What on earth are we eating? Yeah, oh, this is horrible. Well, horrible doesn't cover it. But how come our salad is so disgusting? All of the stuff that we put into it is real yummy. Fish and sugar, cream and bananas. Pickles and sausages and ketchup and jam. And a bunch of my very favorite cheese. <laughs> An unusual mixture, to say the least. <laughs> Mixing is good, but picking things that go together well is the most important thing to remember. You see, now it doesn't work if you're just tossing in everything you like at the same time. I've got an idea. Why don't we have a healthy breakfast of porridge? Yeah, I'd love to have porridge, too. Yeah, turns out making your very own cooking show makes you really hungry. Uh-huh. Porridge coming right up. I'll just, uh, deal with this and... Welcome, dear viewers. Try our Five Cats Yum special porridge. <laughs> <laughs> What's more, we have here some nice jelly, honey, Raisins, nice nuts, and sun-dried fruit that you can add to it and make it even yummier. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Just like that, porridge became a scrumptious breakfast, with the kitty cats able to create their very own special porridge delights. Baby Tooth. One day during breakfast, Candy felt something strange. Tooth is wobbling. Good for you. Your teeth are starting to fall out, Candy. What? Mommy, am I going to lose them all? <laughs> Don't worry. You're just oh. losing what are called baby teeth, darling. 
When your baby teeth fall out, different ones oh. begin to grow in. Your permanent teeth, which last forever and ever. Cookie and I went through the same thing when we were little. Then I'll be getting a whole new tooth? Awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Candy couldn't wait to show her tooth to her friends. See? Look at it! All right, loose tooth, that's awesome! I did not like it when my baby teeth were coming out one bit. I thought it made me look not so pretty. <laughs> when my teeth came out, I was really hoping I would grow crazy giant fangs in their place. Obviously, it didn't happen. But when you lose a tooth, you can put it underneath your pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come and take the tooth and leave a present for you. Awesome! I want a present from the Tooth Fairy. That sounds super great. Is there a way to get my tooth out faster at all? Well, you could just bite an apple. Your tooth will get stuck in it and come right out. But what if I accidentally eat my tooth, though, along with the apple? Ow! <laughs> Then the Tooth Fairy won't get anything. Just tie a string to your tooth. Then you simply attach the string to the back of a car. And then when it leaves, so will your tooth. Oh! You know what? It'd be even better if you tied it to a plane. But what if the tooth is too tough and it won't come out? <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the dentist if the tooth doesn't come out on its own. I did that one time. It was a dark and spooky dentist's office. And the dentist wore a dark and spooky mask. And plucked and pulled and tugged out my little bitty white baby tooth. Ooh. <laughs> there goes Smudge and his scary stories again. Dentists don't wear masks that are dark and scary. They're actually really friendly and helpful. Dentists are fine, but I still don't want to go to one. I'll just let my tooth fall out all by itself. <laughs> Wait. Okay, lunchtime. Come on then, Candy. Candy hadn't eaten anything all day, and her wobbly tooth still hadn't come out. That's that. I'm calling the dentist right now. I'm sure he'll sort this out in a hurry. Hello? I'd like to make a dentist appointment, please. I don't want to go see the dentist at all. I'm real scared. Don't worry, Candy. We'll come with you. Yeah. All right now, Candy, let's open wide. Ah. Pop! And there's our little baby tooth. <gasps> Is it done? Yep. And pretty soon you'll have a brand new grown-up tooth. But you must remember, take care of your teeth by brushing and flossing and seeing me. Thank you, sir. Now I can give my tooth to the Tooth Fairy. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! <laughs> huh? One second. Oh. Hmm. Oh. You need to stick around a little while, Daddy. Your teeth need some work. Do you eat a lot of sweets? Uh, well, I, I, I have to for my job at the candy factory. Hmm. Everyone needs to take care of their teeth. Watch the sweets. Brush and floss twice a day. And then they're sure to stay healthy and strong. It was Daddy's birthday, and the kitties were wondering what present to give him. I know, Mommy. We could give Daddy a bicycle. Then he could ride to work on traffic instead of in traffic. That's a lovely idea, but you're forgetting that poor sweet Daddy is very clumsy. Right. Well, maybe we should get him a helicopter. That's a nice idea, Pudding, but the air above all that traffic can get awfully yucky. Let's give him a rocket. Then he can fly higher than the yucky air. But knowing your daddy, he'd probably end up in a Martian traffic jam. But, but what, what else, else could we, we possibly, possibly get him? him? Well, there is one thing I know that daddy has always wanted. Huh? 
Well, well tell, tell us what, what it is. is. A musical card. One where every time you open it, it plays beautiful music. That's, That's awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The store had so many musical cards to choose from. How were they going to decide? Uh, huh? A birthday cake card that also plays birthday music? It's perfect, kids. The kitty cats thought it was perfect, too. I've just got to hear it again. I want to hear it. Just one more time. So they listened to it one more time, and then one more one more time. Mm. After that, uh -huh. it got a little hard to keep count. Still, they listened, and listened, and listened, and listened. Hey, what's going on? The battery can't have worn out that fast. I think it might just be tired. Maybe you forgot how the song went. I'm going to try to refresh its memory. Uh, it's just being lazy. Are you trying to spoil Daddy's birthday? Start playing properly! Oh, great. Now the card is sulking. Oh. Mom, Mom, Mom! Dad's birthday card refuses to play. It looks like the battery has completely run out of power. Did somebody listen to it a whole bunch of times? I warned you guys about that. You listen just as much. No, you listen to it way more times. I did not. <laughs> Now what are we going to give Daddy for his birthday? <laughs> Just then, the birthday Daddy returned home from work with a pretty box full of sweet treats he'd made at the factory where he works. I know what to do. Come on. The kitties had an idea. They had realized that sometimes the best present is one you make yourself. <laughs> Cookie candy pudding! Hey, kids! We made this for your birthday. Because we love... Love you more than anything in the whole wide world. Thank you very much. It's very wonderful. Ooh! Oh, I always wanted a musical card. <laughs> oh, it's the best musical card ever. And it's the best birthday present I've ever received. <laughs> but I do wish our card was able to play music on its own. <gasps> but it can. Mommy had recorded the kitten's birthday music on her phone. Me wow, me wow, me wow. So Daddy had the best birthday he'd ever had. What could be better than music, cake, and family? Mommy's birthday. Very early one morning, Daddy tiptoed through the house to sneak out the front door. Daddy! <laughs> Where are you going so early? It's Mommy's birthday today, Daddy. Did you forget? Ah. Uh. I would never, ever forget Mommy's birthday, you know. But I left her present back at my office at work. I just need to slip out and pick up the present, then we can all wish her happy birthday. Wait for me, okay? So awesome! <gasps> Shh! Don't wake up Mommy! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the kitty cats were giving Mommy a beautiful drawing they made. It's the prettiest picture ever. What do you think Daddy's birthday present for Mommy is? Well, he said he left a present at his office, and his office is in the middle of a candy factory. I'm guessing it's a yummy cake of some sort. But Daddy brings cake home from work every weekend. And a birthday present is supposed to be special, Pudding. But you know, a cake can be awesome and special. For instance, you could put a letter inside it. What if Mommy accidentally ate the letter, though? Oh. <gasps> 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 you could all 
also hide some fireworks inside a cake so they could fly up and go kaboom! But what if it goes wrong and doesn't fly up? Huh? Huh? Ah! Daddy should give her something really special to go with the cake. Something Mommy's really fond of. Mommy's fond of sports. And Mommy's fond of pink clothes. And Mommy thinks flowers are the best. Hey, let's pick a bouquet of pretty flowers. Then Daddy can give them to her as a present. <gasps> but the kitty cats had forgotten that Mommy's birthday was in the autumn. Still, they didn't give up. They looked everywhere for flowers. They looked... and looked. But pretty flowers just don't grow in the autumn. No flowers. What do we do now? <laughs> Daddy can't just give Mommy a cake and nothing else. <clears throat> oh, I think I have a really good idea. What if we made a bouquet from different fallen leaves? Because they're really colorful and pretty, aren't they? <laughs> the kitty cats couldn't wait for Mommy to see the beautiful autumn bouquet. Good morning, everyone. <gasps> morning. Happy birthday. Nothing, Nothing behind, behind our backs. backs. <laughs> We're waiting to give you your presents until Daddy gets back, all right? Daddy gets back? Where did he go? <laughs> Where's the birthday girl? I have her present right here. <laughs> hey, guys, that's not a cake box. It's a beautiful pink tracksuit and pretty shoes as well. <laughs> it's all the things you're fond of in one gift. Sports, clothes that are pink colored, and pretty flowers. Oh, darling, thank you so very much. What a perfect present for Mommy. Guess we don't need this bouquet anymore, then. We still need it, Pudding. We'll give it to Mommy with our present. Love, Love you, Mommy. Mommy. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Time, Time for your birthday, birthday presents. First, there's this picture that we drew for you. <laughs> then this leaf bouquet. Oh, thank you, my little sweeties. Look at them. These are the most wonderful presents that I've ever received. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Daddy had also brought a yummy cake, of course. And Mommy blew out her candles. But she couldn't think of anything to wish for that she didn't already have. A dance competition. One morning, there was something very exciting on the news. It's the day of the big dance competition. Everyone is welcome, and the cat with the best dance moves wins a prize. Oh, I just love dancing. And I love prizes. Let's enter the dance competition. Great idea. We'll all go, and every one of us will dance. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Ha, <laughs> Mommy and I will dance the tango. <laughs> we took all those lessons after all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to dance like a ballerina, like a graceful little flower. And I'm going to do a break dance. <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, guys, I think I don't know how to dance at all. Well, that's all right. You'll have plenty of time to learn before the contest this evening, and your sister and brother can help you along. We'll have you dancing in no time. We'll try something simple first, like a nice waltz. Ah! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ow! You stepped on my paw! I'm sorry. One, two, three, ow! One, two, three, ow, my paw! One, two, three, one, two, three, ow, ow, ow! Waltzing might be too tricky for you to start with. Let's try to break dance. Now, pudding, after me! I think I broke something. Does that mean I did it right? Maybe you should try some folk dancing. 
I can't hop around that much. I'm not a frog. Look. Then you can do the robot. There's no hopping involved. There doesn't seem to be much of anything involved. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. That dance is boring. How about the can-can? It's really fun. I'm pretty sure that I can't can't can can. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Well, my lovely kittens, how's it going? It turns out that I can't dance, so I can't go to the competition. Well, if Pudding can't go, then I'm not going either. Well, then your father and I will also stay home. Oh, uh, we will? Oh, all right. All of this is my fault. <laughs> I have a super great idea. What we need to do is a family dance with our very own special move. One that we know we can all do. Even, Even pudding, pudding too? too? Of course, pudding will have the most important part of all. That evening at the Grand Theater, the competition began. Lots of cats entered. I think I'm a little nervous. Oh, hey there. Don't be. We're not nervous, am I right? No, Hi, no, guys. No, no, right? Nervous. No need to be nervous, my See, loves. We're cool. Pudding, look. You have got this. You were born to do this dance. Breathtaking. And finally, we have the thrilling dance group, Two Cats and Their Kitty Cats. <laughs> gonna be doing that for weeks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> and here's Pudding, the dancer that started it all. <laughs> the final scores are in, and of course, the Kitty Cat family wins. Oh, awesome! Meanwhile, 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 meanwhile. Always lovely to celebrate a victory, but it's even better when you share it with the whole family. The Super Cats. One day, Cookie, Candy, and Pudding were reading exciting superhero comics. So cool! Look at Glow Kitty. He can shoot light in the dark from his eyes just like lanterns. And Fur Cat can instantly unleash the mighty power of Fluff. Yeah, but Lightning Cat's the best. Look at the lightning shooting out of her paws. Being a superhero is just so awesome. Uh-huh. All of them have some kind of super amazing power. Hey, why don't we play a superhero game? We could make our very own super outfits. And super names. And we can have super awesome powers, right? Super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And so the excited Super Kitty Cats began making their costumes. Captain Strong! Cape Cat! Meow Girl! To, to the, the rescue! rescue. like actual superheroes. Superheroes have got to have someone to save, though. I could be the pretty cat in trouble, guys. You know, waiting to be rescued. And then one of you can save the day. Hey, hey that's, that's great. great. So I'll be the one to save her with Cape Cat's super power of flight. Goodness, someone please save me. Horrible. Her dress will get all wet. Um... Ha ha! You're my superhero, Cape Cat. Thanks. Nah, this rescue is really a job for Captain Strong with my super-powered muscles. Goodness, someone please save me. A meteor's coming. It doesn't look friendly. Oh. <laughs> You're my superhero, Captain Strong. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be doing the rescuing here myself. I'm Meow Girl, and I can move things with my incredible mind. Goodness, someone please save me! Gosh, there's a fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Huh? Oh. Huh? 
<laughs> my superest hero ever is Meow Girl. And plus, Cupcake is my friend, so I should really be the one who rescues her. We're all friends with Cupcake. Yeah, we should let her pick who saves her. Hey! Oh. I'm ready to be rescued, guys, anytime. I'm pretty scared of heights. Cupcake was playing the part of a cat stuck up in a tree. Cape Cat's ready to fly to the rescue, yeah! Rescue time! So you've been saved, Cupcake, you can come down. Wait, here comes Meow Girl! I will bring you safely back down with my Mega Mind! Rescue time! Done, come down! Where's the fun in that, though? I'd look awkward climbing back down by myself. What kind of rescue is that? Um, none of us actually have superpowers. You know that, right? And so we aren't really able to save you. Oh, goodness. Guess I shouldn't have climbed up here, right? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Goodness, someone please save me! Cupcake is about to fall on a cactus! Oh, no! Good idea. Cookie, grab on tight to the tree trunk, and then Pudding, you just grab a hold of his cape and pull it as hard as you possibly can. Ugh. <laughs> Jump for it, Cupcake! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! You three just saved Cupcake for real! Hey, yeah! With the super thinking of Candy's brain... Hmm. Pudding's mega strong muscles. Hmm. And with Cookie's super cape. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're all my superheroes. Working together, we can solve almost any problem. Super! super! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Think you could save me next? And me! <laughs> it turned out working together was the kitten's real superpower. They were a real super team. The Super Kitty Cats. Kittens in a jam. Daddy always brought treats home from the candy factory, but today's was special. The candy factory just started making a new kind of yummy cake with special chocolate filling. Awesome! That sounds scrum delicious. Why don't we all give it a try, along with some nice refreshing tea? Mom took the cake into the kitchen to prepare the tea. With something. Please, can we, Mom? All right, sure. You know what would really help me out? If you fetched me the raspberry jam. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The jam jars are on a big shelf down in the cellar. <gasps> the cellar? Mom kept all her pickles, jams, and jellies down in the cellar. Ha-ha! <sighs> <sighs> Why are we waiting? Let's go! Whoa, there's a lot of cool stuff down here. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, mm, sour, very, very sour. Um, mm, 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 bleh, this one's too salty. Gotta get rid of this taste. Um, ah! oh, mouth on fire, hot, hot, hot. <sighs> Whoa, I am not tasting anything else down here. We're not here to raid Mom's preserves. We're here to find jam. Right. Mom sent us down here to find some raspberry jam for her. How are we even supposed to find it? The jars all have labels. We just need to find the raspberry one. Mm. This one says cherries. Cellar <laughs> Giddy up, little suitcase. <laughs> this one says carrots. Hey, down there. What's this one? Cabbage, it looks like. And this one Those is... Those aren't raspberries. They're super duper hot. Well, of course they're really hot. The label says spicy peppers. Hey, look. There they are. Yeah, that's raspberry. Yay, we found it. But there's no jar with the label. Uh, then what we need to do is find a jar with a missing label, right? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Oh, now that's a lot of jam. Now we need to figure out a way to get it up to Mom. But the jar turned out to be really heavy. Maybe we could put it on its side and roll it? Tell me it didn't break. It's fine. 
All that's left for us to do is roll it upstairs. That's all, huh? <laughs> Hooray! We're really helpful helpers. It's almost there. <laughs> Great. Now we have to start all over. Well, maybe we could just eat the jam down here. And then go upstairs and drink the tea. Uh, but if you're the other container, how will Mommy and Daddy get any jam? <gasps> then let's just bring the table down here and all have our tea and cake in the cellar. Excellent plan. I don't think I can wait much longer before I have cake. But the table turned out to be too big. We're gonna need a bigger cellar door. We're never gonna get tea and jam and cake at all. <laughs> I think I just had a great idea. We should put the table back in the dining room and bring some jam up in this glass. Cookie candy and pudding, my loves. You found the raspberry jam all by yourselves down in the cellar and then had the great idea to bring it upstairs in that cup. Yeah, that beautiful glass of jam is gonna look spectacular on the table next to our fancy new cake. We're helpful! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite on their adventure in the cellar, and the raspberry jam and special chocolate cake really hit the spot. The phone! <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Meow! Meow! Look what my father just gave to me! A, a cell, cell phone! phone. <laughs> it's got a music app with tons of songs! It takes photos! Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Can I have a turn playing too? And me. Can I also have a turn? But first, me. Come on, come on, go. The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament too. Wait a sec. Oh. Oh. Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? Ah. Or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. And the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes! Ball! Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer! We live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, Mommy! mommy. Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome. I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal! Awesome! What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. Ah. <laughs> 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 Goal. 
goodness, this is fun. Huh? <laughs> Boris, I'm gonna play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> 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 cool. Well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right, then. Who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, goal! Uh. Hey, wow, a real live soccer game. Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase, we could use a good striker. Catch it. Hooray. This is even better than on the phone. <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. Goal! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats to visit Granny in the country. Granny! Meow! Oh! Welcome, my little dear ones. You're gonna play with us all day, like last time, right? Yeah! Bye-bye, hey. yeah. 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 kitties! Bye-bye! Play, play! play. Uh, we will be having playtime, but first I have to spend a little time taking care of the crops that are growing in my garden. Just look at all the things I've planted. Apples, carrots, strawberries, flowers. And all of them need to be looked after. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's help Granny do her gardening. That way she'll be done with her work sooner and have extra time to play with us. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Put your paws up if you're having lots of fun. Cheer up, kitties. After this, we get to pull all the weeds out of the garden and water all the flowers. If we do all that, we won't have time to play. Look, maybe we should skip something, like scraping this dirt around. But digging the soil is very important. We can only plant potatoes in loose soil. Doesn't work any other way. Have to loosen the soil, or you might as well plant your potatoes in concrete, which is impossible, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we could skip the part where we pull all the weeds out. But weeds can mess up the look of the whole flower bed. Imagine if your mommy decided to just stop cutting her hair. Before you know it, her hair would completely take over. Ha! My darling, huh? Oh. Ah, oh, no. ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But what if we, um, just, uh, wait until next time it rains instead of watering everything now? But plants need water every single day, just like us. What if your daddy decided he'd wait for it to rain before he took his next shower, huh? Yay! <laughs> All spring. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, looks like plants really count on us to help them live their lives. We have to take care of the plants. It's the right thing to do. I'm gonna march right into that flower bed and get rid of all the weeds. And me and Pudding will take care of the soil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kitten made rainstorm time. Would you like a nice drink, Mr. Apple Tree? The carrots are taking a shower. Now your leaves are so clean, strawberries. This will help all the flower buds to open up. The kitty cats got so involved in helping with the garden, they forgot all about playtime. Almost. Phew! You're such good helpers. Well, now that the garden work's all done, is it playtime? Uh, sure, yeah. Why don't we play the harvest game? Is it a really fun game? Ah, uh, it's tons of fun, and it's helpful as well. <laughs> Granny and the kitty cats had a great time collecting all the crops and washing them with cool, clean water. And now it's time to taste all that we gathered. That sounds great. We could really use a break from the game. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I love strawberries so much. 
It's all because of your hard work. Thank you. You're the world's best rat kittens. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh. Well, you must have played really hard all day to get this tired. Yes, I don't think any bedtime stories will be needed tonight. Bring them back anytime and maybe stay yourself. There's a few games I'd love to see you playing. Oh, yeah, like that game you taught me, Paint the Barn. And what was that other one, Chopping Firewood? <laughs> I've got a great idea for a new game. Who will fall asleep first? Oh, I win. <laughs> the kitty cats had gathered a delicious harvest and had an absolutely wonderful day. Aliens. One evening, the kitty cats were over at their friend Chase's house. Every evening, I look up at those stars. I hope someday I'll spot a real UFO and get to meet some real aliens. But no one's ever found a real alien ever. Oh, yeah, I know. Kittens, time to head back home. Thanks very much for having us. <laughs> Who knows if aliens will ever visit Earth? They sure haven't come here yet. I feel bad, because Chase really wants to meet aliens. What if he waits forever and then it doesn't happen? Forever's a really long time. I feel bad for him, too. Why don't we pretend to be aliens for Chase and tell him we come from a planet way out in space? Great idea. Think how excited he's going to be. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, the kittens dressed up like they were from a distant planet. They put on hooded raincoats, headbands with antennas, and cool sunglasses. Oi! One second. Thanks for your help. Hey, shouldn't our voices sound different? If they don't, Chase will know who we are. Salutations from space, Earthling. We are aliens from the faraway planet Catavius. We come in, uh... In peace. No way! Real aliens, awesome! Oi. I've been waiting for you to come. Guess you learned our language. What language does everyone speak back on Catavius? It sounds like this. Meow, 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 meow. That's really funny. Tell me something cool about the planet you come from. Hmm. The gravity on our planet is so strong that everybody there must bend over and walk four-legged. We also use four legs to climb up crazy space trees. And if we do ever fall down, we land on all four legs every single time that we fall. And sometimes beams of light appear, and everyone tries to catch them. It's the favorite sport on our planet. <laughs> what a fascinating place. And now I'll tell you how we all live. This is a rocket to fly into outer space. And this is a swing. This is a ball. Chase told the kittens many things that they, of course, already knew. It's a pillow for us to put our heads on when we're sleeping. This is a clock. Its job is to tell you the time. This is a telescope, a present from my dad this morning. And this is a book. It has pictures. We were supposed it's to be back home for lunch. We're late. Yeah, but how can we leave? I've got a really good idea. Here's the way to open a window. And here's the way to close one. And this is... Thanks very much, Earth Creature. But we must depart now. Otherwise, our, uh, spaceship will just take off without us and we'd be stuck. You guys really have a real spaceship? I have to see it, please! Run! Hold on! I'm coming! Where's your spaceship? Is it really cool? <laughs> oh, no! Chase will know it was us all along. <sighs> we just didn't want you to wait forever to meet your aliens. That's why we pretended to be aliens ourselves. Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I knew it was you guys all the time. But it was completely awesome. Why don't you come over later tonight? We'll look at all the stars through my brand new telescope. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! This is the fish constellation. 
And this is the big cat constellation. These four stars are its tail. See? The kitten saw that outer space is so beautiful that you look at it forever. All of us can gaze at the stars and imagine.